Hey guys, so before the video begins, our second giveaway winner is Game It All. So, basically Game It All, I will get in touch with you in the next couple days. If you do want to enter in for these giveaways, just stay tuned for some more videos and you'll find out how to enter then. Hello everybody and welcome back to house number 4 of season 3 of houses. So today we are going to be building a 10x10 house. Um, and so this is the house that we will be building. So if you actually look, it actually looks very nice I think for how small it really is. And this is probably the first 10 by 10 house that I've actually built that actually feels very spacious on the inside. So you can just see like how much space there really is. It feels a lot bigger than what it really is and how many blocks, you know, you're really using. So how about we get over into the materials that we will be using here. So we will need some cobblestone, some stone, light gray stained clay, acacia wood stairs, acacia wood slabs, cobblestone walls, acacia fence, and some cobblestone stairs. Now we will need some other materials along the way, but I think these should get us pretty far for this part. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our light stained gray, uh, gray, light stained clay. And what we're going to do is start here. So we should have two blocks from this left corner. Now on the third block, place your first block, come diagonal two. On this one here, on this one close to the front, come over two more so it should be a three wide just like this. And then kind of do the exact same thing, come back uh, two just like that. Very, very simple. Now, on this one, come diagonal one more time and come back three. One, two, three. Then come all the way over and connect. Uh, or not, I wouldn't say connect, but come over two. So that way, this is where our front door is going to be. So if we come over here, you can kind of see how this is going to look when it's all said and done. Okay, so what we're going to do now is on this front side where our bay window is going to be, we're going to stack this up on the corners here on this three wide. Just stack, you know. Just kind of guess how far you need to stack it up. We will kind of fine tune it as we go. Okay, so now we're going to take our acacia wood stairs, add one upside down stair, come two blocks up. On the third block, we are going to add another upside down stair here. On top of that stair, add in another block of light stained clay. And I can't see my materials. So now we're going to do the exact same thing with the window uh, that we just did below. So just like that. So we actually made it like the perfect height without even realizing it. And we are going to add one more layer of uh, light stained clay on top of that. And again, if you want to use different materials for, you know, if you're building this in survival, you know, definitely use some materials that might be a little bit easier to, you know, use. Um, some of these materials will be uh, not fairly common in, you know, survival. So just kind of judge on what blocks you think you should use. Okay, so on these blocks here, diagonal from the ones that we just placed, add in a full block of acacia wood. And on the other one, we can actually stack these up all the way as well uh, to match with the height of the rest of the building so far. And so obviously we're not using stairs here because of the fact um, it, would really, it would look really weird to have stairs here because it's on a diagonal block. Um, in my opinion, I think that just looks really weird. So basically we're just kind of replicating the same kind of path that we uh, did on this main big window here. Oh. I feel like my, like my nose is all stuffed up today for some reason. And just do this one more time over here. Boop, boop. Get rid of that. And then to finish it off, add some light gray stained clay on top of that. So our first big window is done. This is probably like the only complicated part of this entire house. After this, it gets very, very simple with how things actually turn out and play. So we're set there, ready to go. So now what we're going to do, so over on this right side, what we're actually going to do is take out your light gray stained clay. And we're going to come back one, two, three, four more blocks. Okay. We're going to turn it back to the right. And we're actually just going to come all the way over and connect like this. Very, very simple. Okay. Shouldn't be too complicated. Now, there is one thing that does extend out one block past, um, what am I thinking of, of the 10 block, you know, thing. And that's just the fireplace. If you do not want to add the fireplace, you do not have to. It is just a one block gap if you are in a tight situation. You know, if you only have a 10 by 10 square, not one block extra, then maybe that wouldn't work. So we are going to include the fireplace here because I think it does add a lot of detail to the house. So coming back from the back side, we're going to come out one, two, so we should have three. Now come diagonal one, two, three again, and then come diagonal and connect with the beginning wall that we started. Now the rest of these walls, what you can actually do is we're just going to stack these all the way up. Now, if you did watch the last house that I made for season three, um, this fireplace will get shorter as it goes up. It will actually end where this uh, floor starts, where pretty much those acacia wood stairs are. Now, the rest of these can stack all the way up, even with where everything else is. Just kind of just keep doing the same thing. Boop. 
So now when we get to the back side, on both sides of the corners, we're going to have it three wide on the corners, just like this. Actually, is it just going to be, actually, excuse me, just two wide. So you should have a two wide window, two wide window, and a two wide wall in between. That should set things off perfectly. Now, this one's actually going to be the same style of stairs. So two wide, you know, using your occasional wood stairs, come up two blocks, add in another one. So it should be a per, pretty much a two by two window. Now on top of that, add in your light gray stained clay on top of that. Now on this one, on the corners for this top window, you're actually going to add one more layer of uh, light gray stained clay on the corners and then get rid of this two by however tall window in the middle or pillar, whatever. And now just make the exact same window again. This window is going to add in more, you know, bring in more light for this uh, upper story things. So there we go. This is what our back should look like. And, um, hopefully that made a little bit of sense. I know I didn't do a great job of explaining that. I like I feel like I didn't, but hopefully that made sense. Um, so two by two windows, and then this window should be a four block window in the center of this back wall. Okay, hopefully that made sense now. So this right side wall, we can actually just stack up all the way. There's not going to be a window here. We can add one in on the top floor, but I don't really think it's necessary really. Um, here we can actually just turn this, and we will add in the windows as we go. Just kind of to stack these all the way up as well. And there we go. So now we have the house or the base of our house set and ready to go. Oh, excuse me. Okay. So now we're going to work on our front porch. So the front porch, we are going to be using our cobblestone and stone here. So we're going to start here on this edge on the right side and just have it come all the way out. And it should be even with where this bay window ends and just connect the two sides together. Now, where our door is going to be is right here, okay? Very simple. So you're actually going to replace this piece of cobblestone with a stair. So we can just use cobblestone stairs here. Just like that, very simple. All this excess stuff here, you can just fill in with your stone. Now, I'm going to take out our cobblestone blocks again. We're going to add one on the corner here and here on the other side of the stair that we added so we can get up. And on top of those blocks, add in a cobblestone wall on top. And then take out your occasional wood fences and stack up two blocks tall on top of that cobblestone uh, walls that we just added. So here, it's, you can really just have a roof or if you want to have a balcony for survival, it really depends on how you want to do that. I'm going to do a balcony because I think it looks you know, a little bit better. So what we're going to do is take out your cobblestone and we're going to have our cobblestone be right on top and basically the same outline that we did for our front porch down here. So just kind of outline it here, exact same dimensions and everything. Um, because basically you're just kind of moving it up per se. So on the corner here, we're going to add a cobblestone block on the very top corner. And then using your uh, cobblestone walls, we're actually just going to fill in the rest of this area for our railing pretty much. Is that exactly what we're doing? Do that on the bottom as well for your front porch. And boom, that is set and ready to go. It looks very nice. Um, we're pretty much already done with this house. I mean, these houses are very small, but they actually have so much space on the inside as well. Okay. So now we're going to start on our roof. So for the roof, we will be using our acacia wood stairs and we will be using some uh, cobblestone stairs as well. Uh, we might need some cobblestone slabs as well to fit in there. So just might want to take those out just in case. Uh, so how do we want to start this? Let's see. Let's start off with our cobblestone stairs. And what we're going to do is place one here on the ends of our bay window. And basically all these blocks coming back are going to do the exact same thing. So upside down stairs facing forward and then to finish it off add in slabs here to kind of connect all of those stairs together so you should not have an empty gap it should all look like they're connected fully so when you get to this one here you're actually just going to add it on the corner and then turn this one add on the corner as well and just kind of keep coming out just like that hopefully that made sense um, some small stuff like this can be very hard to describe now if i am moving too fast for you guys maybe just kind of pause the video and catch up with where we are now um, I'm hoping to not go too fast for you guys, but sometimes I cannot avoid that. Okay, so that's set. So on the back side here, we actually have an even number. So this is where we're actually going to make sure you pay attention. We're going to add one, two, three, okay? Come over to the other corner, add one, two, three. So you should have a two wide um, or two stairs in the middle. That is actually fine. You know, we can't really avoid that. Um, so now just kind of fill in with the slabs again, just like this. Uh, we want to... We want to add one on the corners here, and we actually need to fill that piece in. I can't see where my blocks are. There we are. Boop, there we go. So on the other side of the fireplace, we're just going to do the same thing. So one block gap on both sides. 
and then just kind of put our slabs in to connect everything together and boom very very simple um the roofing on this actually will be pretty similar to the last house we did to an extent so using your acacia wood stairs we're actually going to start right here on this block okay so on the end come all the way over to the other side and do the same thing so now what we're going to do is place one full block here just like this and now start working up towards uh the middle between the two stairs just kind of keep doing your stair step design here making sure you're adding in your upside down stairs to kind of make it look more complete and oop and that's make sure you have upside down stair so here on this one you should come to a imperfect point so just you know your stairs are not going to connect add in a upside down stair here in the middle and then put in a acacia wood slab on top of that to make it come to a point very very simple so now using your acacia wood stairs again we're going to start right here where this block is and basically you know we're kind of just kind of following the outline of the cobblestone here so just kind of turn it like this and make sure we want to we want to make sure that's like a turned um block just trying to make sure we get that there we go so it should look like it's turning into we do not want to have something that looks like this that just looks like too much empty space or space being wasted. So we want to make sure it's turned like that. Okay, so how's that looking so far? Looking pretty good. I'm liking the materials that we're using here. All right. Uh, so we're going to add one more stair step design here on the right side. So kind of the same idea here. So occasional wood stairs on the corners. And then just kind of do your stair step design here. Actually, we don't need to even add a block there. We can actually just have our upside down stairs. Okay, and this one should come to a same point that we had on the other one. So it's a odd number. So we will have our upside down stair with a slab on top, just like this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use our acacia wood stairs. And on the cobblestone, we're actually just going to kind of follow the outline. When you get to the fireplace, just kind of skip over to the other side and just connect all the, you know, acacia wood stairs together, just like this. This will be kind of our outline here. So now we're going to go back to using our cobblestone stairs. And the cobblestone stairs will kind of just fill in everything else. The best way to do this roof is just kind of start at one roof and work your way towards the other. And then when you get to the top of that one, go over to another area. So just like this, make sure they connect together. Boom, perfect. So on this one you hear, you see that we're already at the top because it's not a very tall roof. What I'm going to do is just come over to the other side of that roof and just kind of start over again turn so just on this one you can actually just go behind the fireplace do not need to skip it or anything just go around it on the back side and just kind of keep doing the same thing just you know uh just connect everything together so here here's where we're gonna need our cobblestone slabs here we're just gonna place those and now we're gonna continue with um our roof again so just like this boop boop and just connect everything together and here, what we're going to do is just finish off with our cobblestone slabs at the very top to finish all that off. And our roof is done. Very, very simple. Okay. So, now what we're going to do is we need to add in some windows and a couple finishing touches. So, um, I'm going to take out, to add a little more color, I'm going to use maybe some, hmm, what would be a good color? Some cyan stained clay. Now, this is, it can be any block that you want to use. But I'm just going to kind of fill in these gaps right here from out the outside on those stair step designs that we added. And what this will do is from the outside, just add a little bit more color from the outside and just makes it look a little bit more pretty. And so you'll see what that really does here in a second. It looks just like that. We have just a little bit more color. Now we do need to finish off our roof here. So using your cobblestone slabs, just kind of finish off this area one block, you know, pretty much a half block up. So you might notice that we have a gap here. You can actually just replace that stair with a full acacia wood block. And then, boom, your roof is set, ready to go. You can even just add something like this at the end. And now you're set, okay? Now, I'm probably just going to keep it to where they're all even. I think it just looks a little bit better that way. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's set and ready to go. Now we need to add in our windows. So for the windows, we're going to use... Uh, we will need some... Uh, Blue, I think it would look pretty good, and some blue stained glass uh, panes. So what you're going to do is the only place you're going to use your full blocks of glass are on the corners on your bay window here. So just kind of stack them up just like this. Um, it's mainly, like I said, only going to be used here on the corners. The rest of it will be your glass panes. 
so all the other windows you can kind of just fill in. We can add in, if you come over to the other side, one, we need to add in our uh, little walkway area here. So using your upside down slabs, using your cobblestone slabs that is, just kind of fill in this area. This will be where we can actually walk out onto the deck. So obviously this is where our front door is going to go. Um, using your acacia wood stairs, I'm going to add one here, upside down. Actually have this one facing up, and then have the other one facing down. So it should look something just like that when you're all done. We can add in like a small little window here. I think it would look pretty good. Uh, let's move it down one more block, just like that. And then, of course, fill it in with your blue stained glass. Okay. So here on these windows, you have a couple options. On the bottom ones here, I'm just going to fill these in with the glass panes here, just like this. Now on this one, I kind of like to keep it open. It just makes it look a little bit nicer. So what we're going to do is place one down, place one more glass pane from it. Actually, don't do that. Um, that would actually connect all of them. Now you're just going to add two more glass panes coming out this way. And what this will do is this will make it look like the window is open. And boom, there we go. All right, so there we go. Our house is pretty much completed. Only other thing that we have to do is maybe use um, some, like some cobblestone stairs and make it look, the chimney make it look a little bit nicer. I'm just going to replace this here with some cobblestone, just like this. And we need to add in that block. And did I have any windows on this side? I did not, so we do not need to have any there either. So guys, that's pretty much it for this. So if you want to see what the interior looks like on that one, what I used was I used polished diorite for the floor. And I think it actually looked very, very nice. Just come in here, just kind of fill in everything. And I will show you how I did the fireplace, but I will show you the other one that I did complete on the interior because there actually is, like I said, a lot of space to be used and utilized here um, if you use it correctly, especially for survival, which is what a lot of these houses are made for. So your second wood, or your second floor would go right here in between your acacia wood stairs and everything that we had on the bay window just kind of fill everything in here now here if you want to use stairs you could but i would suggest using ladders because it takes up less space in a small house like this so boop and our ladder would go right here in this corner okay so here we go so to do the fireplaces very very simple um especially with using diorite you do not have to worry about it catching on fire or anything so i'm going to use is quartz some quartz stairs some quartz slabs, and uh, some pillar quartz as well. And we will, of course, need our nether rack with some flint and steel, uh, which is here. So to do the fireplaces, what you have to do is just place uh, one here. Uh, actually, let's place one here from two blocks away, add another one. I feel like this needs to come down one more block. Like, this needs to be a wall. There we go. That, I was wondering why it looked really weird. Our nether rack will go here, right? Our slides will connect the two stairs together. Add in another upside down stair on the top of the one you already have. Connect the two just like this. And then to finish it off, have vertical, um, whatever those are called, pillar core blocks coming up and kind of making it look like the chimney. And then all you got to do is just light your fire. And boom. And I did that on the top floor as well um, in the original. So I will go show you what the interior looks like on the other exact same house. A couple different materials, but you know, exact same dimensions and everything. So, really, here's what it looks like on the inside. You walk in, nice big fireplace here. Kitchen, that's mean like the main thing that you use in a survival house like this. Okay, so again, big fireplace. You know, very, very simple. Okay, we go up to the ladder. I just have the glass there just to kind of separate so you don't walk up to this on purpose. Um, we need to add a door there, obviously. But we have a bed that looks just like this. Enough room for actually a pretty big bed. Another fireplace up here just to kind of add more light, make it feel more homely. Our big open window here. Um, some chests. But then you, you notice that the, the ladder actually goes up a little bit more. And that's because since we did that kind of roof, we can actually have a small little chest room up here as well. So we technically have a three-story house. And then if you want to make a basement, you could even do that as well. So guys, that's it for this house. So thank you very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. I actually really like this house for how small it is. Um, so great for survival, very easy to build in survival. Again, if you want to use some different materials, obviously I would understand that because if you're trying to build this in survival, some of these materials can take some time to get, um, in that amount of quantity. But other than that, this house really isn't that big. So you have plenty of space to work with guys. So bye bye guys. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys later and next week for the next house. So bye bye.